Okay, now I'm going to start talk about the diagnostic care. Yeah, sometimes we heard uh, or we'll see in the analysis that they said that they use a diagnostic tail and let's see what it is and when we are going to use that. When you have the, let me draw an spectrum. So again, I'm drawing it in, we have drawn in the logarithmic scale, so it's going to be the frequency and it's going to be meters square per hertz. In the logarithmic scale, if I draw a spectrum, that's going to be something. We have something like that, and then we have the tail. For any reason, so this is the tail part. So for any reason, if we know that tail part, for example, is going to be, and this is the tail. If we have that, sometimes we know that the higher frequency range that. Um, is noise and it's very probable because most of the time the instrument we have might not be really good at picking up the high frequency data or the data is contaminated or for any reason or sometimes we have the sensor that it cannot simply cannot measure the high frequency it may only uh, measure up to some frequency here and we don't have the high frequency part in those cases when Either that we know the high frequency data are not good or we don't have them at all, we can use one of the uh, empirical, uh, uh, let's say, uh, spectrum, the water uh, spectrum, to replace that uh, tail with the tail of those empirical spectrum. And one of them is the John Swap, and for example, or TMA, or there are other. Uh, uh, form of that. So let me uh, draw that again. So for example here, let me see if I draw that again. So it's going to be the frequency and the spectrum. And this time, assume we have that this is going to be the spectrum. So, so this is uh, going to be our spectrum. And assume we have don't have the rest of that spectrum. What we will do that, and it's one of the most case scenarios that we will go ahead and we replace that part of the data with one of the available empirical spectrum, um, power spectrum. And one of them, as I said, and for example, we will just replace it with something like that. And this is going to be the diagnostic tail, and that how we re replace it with that. Uh, for example, one of the very uh, if we, uh, one of the very famous one is the uh, John Swap spectrum, um, and it is being used for uh, replacing the tail. And basically, would say that um, for this part, for for uh, f, if I said larger than f dot tail, and if I go ahead and say, okay, this point is. F tail for this part for for F for the the S Y Y of F is equal to the magnitude of the spectrum exactly at that F the tail so it's going to be the magnitude of the spectrum at F tail and then I will multiply that by the ratio of the frequency to <clears throat> uh, at, so whatever frequency I have by that f tail and then we have the power of negative n so basically this is the uh, John swap uh, tail so it's so how we use the John swap tail and in other words, we will go ahead and see what is the last value we have, what's the last uh, value we have, and this is the one. So the last value we have, this, this part, is the last point we have on the spectrum. So we'll go ahead and choose that. Um, let's say, hey, look at that. So this is the very last data point we have here. And then we use the slope of the John swap 
spectrum to bring down the spectrum from that point following the slope of the spectrum um, uh, the john swap spectrum we can use the tms spectrum uh, for example john swap is more suitable for the deep water there's tma spectrum which is more suitable for the shallow water the n value is typically is uh, five the n for the deep water is three for the shallow water and you it can be uh, in between for the transient condition um, and then by doing that if we have if our high frequency data is missing or the high frequency data is not acceptable we can replace it with one of the uh, known empirical uh, uh, with, with tail of one of the uh, known empirical uh, water spectrum